Yeah, so uh, staking, um, basically we have two different types of staking uh, for um, token holders. Um, basically what we have is uh, unb unbonded staking, um, which basically has a, a bit of a lower yield. Uh, it, it basically means that you can earn some interest on your tokens uh, whenever you stake, uh, and it, it means uh, uh, that you don't, uh, that you're not bonding, uh, for instance, with a validator. Um, and that's the other type of staking that's involved. Uh, where you're bonding with the validators. Those have higher yields, um, but it also means that um, in certain circumstances, um, a, a validator could be uh, slashed. Um, uh, for, in, uh, for, um, for instance, if a validator um, might be um, doing something nefarious to the network, um, of course, that validator would uh, be slashed a portion of their stake. Um, and if you're bonded with a validator, um, you, you, you are also slashed um, as part of that. So it really means that uh, if you want to do bonded staking, yes, the yields are way higher, uh, but on the other hand, you have to carefully choose uh, the validator you're staking with. So it's also in the interest of the validators. Um, they can be anonymous, um, but Typically, it helps if they are not anonymous so that people can know, okay, which, what is the team behind that validator? Um, are they respectable people? Are they in this field? Uh, do they have technical knowledge uh, to uphold uh, a node, for instance? Um, so it's, it's important to choose wisely um, because, yes, higher yields are very nice and we will have uh, some nice yields in, in Accumulate, but you have to choose carefully. And, um, it's it's uh, the unbonded staking is just generating um, some some uh, some yield. The bonded staking is generating more yield. And for a validator themselves, it's also important that um, they uh, earn some commission, basically. Um, so uh, the more people that are bonding with you uh, and, and delegating their stake with you, um, uh, the more commission you can make. Um, and uh, basically a validator can choose their own commission percentage. Um, so if, if a validator doesn't want a commission, they could also uh, set it at 0% if they wanted to. But um, so for uh, a validator, uh, it's, it's important to set a proper commission percentage so that they can earn some additional uh, tokens, some additional yield. Uh, and at the same time, of course, for token holders next to the things that I already mentioned, yeah, it's also wise to look at the uh, commission percentage that a validator is asking.